guys, so before anybody makes any claims about the bruise under my eye, I walked into a wall. I know that sounds ridiculous, but my hair down was down. I was walking towards like the locker area at the gym and I turned and was looking down to wave to my friends who work in the rock climbing area. And I walked into like the corner of the wall, like right on my cheekbone. So nobody punched me. <laughs> it's just from walking into the wall and it's still like swollen and it hurts, but that was four days ago. <laughs> um, and now into the video. So basically it's about, about feeling hungry and not being able to stop eating, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So my dad has this idea that if you are eating more than like a certain portion size, more than like one dinner plate of food, whatever you're having, then you know, you are basically just overeating. <laughs> That's his logic. So it doesn't matter, you know, what you ate or didn't eat for breakfast, you know, how much you ate or didn't eat for breakfast. And um, it doesn't matter, like nothing, none of that kind of stuff matters. Uh, all that matters is what you're eating right now for this meal. So this kind of thinking is completely flawed and does not work um, because you can actually accumulate hunger. Like, I, I don't know how to say that better, but um, it's like if you don't eat yesterday uh, or if you don't eat today, uh, then tomorrow you're going to be, you're going to need to eat more. And maybe it won't happen tomorrow directly, but it might happen, you know, like a few days from now. It might happen a week from now that you'll just, you'll eat more because you'll be more hungry. And that's how hunger cues and calories kind of work. The body needs a certain amount of calories daily. And if it's not getting them, then it will eventually compensate for it and actually like binge out or, you know, do something of that sort. So you want to respect your body and your hunger cues. And a lot of people think that's a really bad thing to do and that's how you end up gaining weight. But that's actually not. That's actually the right way to feed yourself. Last night, for example, okay, so yesterday, what did my day look like? I had a, like, seven banana smoothie in the morning, and then I had a foot-long sandwich from Subway at lunch, obviously vegan, and then I didn't have anything at all because I went to the gym, so I didn't get to eat until, like, nine at night or eight, eight at night, I'd say. So that's, an uh, like, a break between, like, two and eight, and... In the time that I was at the gym, I burned a lot of calories, obviously, like rock climbing. I got really exhausted. You know, you're breathing hard, you're doing this difficult physical thing. And so I got really hungry and I got home and I ate, I, I cooked up like, like the usual batch of rice that I do that is usually fine for dinner, you know, and, um, and then I just, I was still hungry. Like, I wasn't necessarily hungry, like, I didn't feel like hunger pain or anything and I didn't feel hunger pain at all yesterday and you're not supposed to like this is what I'm trying to say so basically uh I just ate that and then I kept eating because I wanted to eat you know and and like I know and then my dad was looking at me like how like why are you eating so much like you need to control yourself and I was like like, my whole thinking now is so different from how it used to be. Like, it obviously used to be like his, but, you know, now I've learned that whenever you feel like eating, you need to eat because like, you're not going to get fat if you eat high-carb, low-fat vegan foods, but whenever you feel like eating, you must eat. Otherwise, you're, you're basically denying your body the food that it needs, you know? So, um, and that's going to result in your heart rate lowering, your metabolism slowing down, you putting on more weight. So that's not what we want, you know. So just eat as much as you want to eat at every meal, high carb, low fat, vegan foods. And I literally eat to the point where I push the plate away at every single meal. People don't believe this, but it's true. I mean, like, I don't know why they don't believe it. I mean, I guess it just, it doesn't work with their paradigm, you know, where they believe that if you eat that much, then you're just going to get fat. And they see I'm not fat. And they're like, well, you're either going to get fat or, or you're some kind of genetic anomaly. And I'm not either. Like, none of those are going to happen 
because I actually understand how the body works and what foods actually make us fat and what foods don't make us fat, you know, what foods make us lean in the long term. And I choose to eat those foods, uh, the ones that make us lean. So you can too. It's really simple and easy. You just listen to your appetite. Basically, your appetite regulates everything. And when you're eating enough, you're providing your body with enough calories, it can actually do what it needs to do and it, it can actually shed the weight that it needs to shed um, to come to a healthy weight if you're overweight or whatever. So I just felt like sharing that little story and uh, let me know what your comments are. Leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>